Hi, it's Jane R again, back with some more OSCE tips. And this time it's just finishing off running through your fluids and what to do if you've got a bubble. So we have our completed giving set here. So it's slightly dark blue, so you can see it a little bit better. And we've run it through to the end. So if you want to double check, you can run it through with the cap on, which I'd advise because you're not going to break through the teeth. If at the end you want to double check that, check that there is absolutely nothing wrong at the end, be careful, but you can take the cap off and you can hold it and you can look. And actually, I don't know if you can just see, do you know what, I'm not quite at the end. So I can hold in both hands and, oh, right, a drop has come out. So I'm definitely there at the end. Lovely. Gonna check the rest of my giving set. So I'm gonna start at the top. So it's a little niggly hole there. I'm definitely gonna investigate that. Okay, down to the first port is fine. Sometimes your port won't be solid with fluid. It'll have a little hole at the top. Sometimes you get air trapped in the elbow. That's absolutely fine because if you try to run it through and it doesn't move, it's not gonna move for the patient. Down, there's a little sneaky one behind the regulator. Do you know what, there's a little one there, which I think you can just about see. And I would class this as significant because it is slightly longer than the width of the giving set. So that's what we class as significant. So I'm gonna to need to get rid of that. Little one there, but it's gonna come out anyway. Nothing other than just a couple of little E's, which, oh no, biggie. So you can see that's about three bubbles in one. So we're gonna to want to get rid of that. But essentially they're all gonna come out because I'm getting rid of this one. Now people say, what is minimum waste? Minimum waste is whatever you need to controlled get rid of to use the bag because according to the OSCE exam this bag is now not usable because of these bubbles so that's a complete waste. So if I can control the way I remove the excess fluid to get rid of the bubbles then that's acceptable. So we're not talking about just opening the regulator, swinging the end round, hoping the bubbles go. We are actually wanting to watch the bubble. So I've identified this one by the regulator, this is the one that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to very slowly again, because I don't want to make any more bubbles up there, open the regulator and it's giving set as slow as last time. But all I'm doing is I'm standing watching and I'm making sure that the fluid is moving and that I will only stop once this bubble is run through and then I will check, close that, and then I would check again. Now the one that was here, not causing a problem, it's gone. The one in the regulator's gone, and the one that I'm watching has already moved down. So all I would do is move those down until that's gone. And when you're setting up your fluids, practice it OSCE style in, in your practice, because I've seen people complete this task in you know a minute and a half to two minutes. It's possible to do controlled, sterile, and well done in less time than six minutes. Thanks for